Reuters. Sebastian Moffat from Reuters. Um, could you talk a little bit about the <coughs> threats um, against which missile defense program is supposed to defend? And in particular, um, India is planning to test an intercontinental ballistic missile, apparently. Um, and could you say whether this increases the th perceived threat um, from other countries' missiles? Let me stress that the NATO missile defense system is not directed against any country. It's directed against a threat, a real missile threat. Uh, and we do not consider India a threat uh, to NATO allies or uh, NATO uh, territory. Um, Kim Sen Gupta from The Independent. Can I ask you, um, Secretary General, about Afghanistan? Uh, Leon Panetta said recently that he wants to see combat operations more or less ceased by middle of 2013. Now, this appears to be significantly earlier than the schedule put down in Lisbon. Uh, can I ask you if this actually still marries with what you and others said will happen time-wise in Lisbon? Let me stress that there is no change whatsoever in the timeline. We stick to the roadmap and the timeline um, that we adopted when we had the last NATO summit in Lisbon in November 2010. That is, we will gradually hand over lead responsibility for the security to the Afghan security forces in a process that will be completed by the end of 2014. We stick to that timetable. There is no change whatsoever in that timetable. But let me also stress that in order to fulfill that timetable, to complete transition by the end of 2014, we will have to hand over the last provinces to lead Afghan responsibility sometime in 2013, probably by mid-2013. So there is no contradiction between mentioning 2013 as or mid-2013 as the time when we will hand over the last provinces to lead Afghan responsibility, and the fact that transition will be completed by the end of 2014, because it takes 12 to 18 months to actually implement a transition. That's why we will have to hand over the last provinces to lead Afghan responsibility in 2013, so that the transition can be completed by the end of 2014. Obviously, during that transition process, the role of our troops will gradually change from combat to support, but we will continue to conduct combat operations throughout the transition period until the end of uh, 2014. So the bottom line is there is no change whatsoever in the Lisbon roadmap. Uh, Financial Times. Thank you, Mr. Secretary General. Peter Spiegel from the Financial Times. Uh, President Karzai has requested a firm commitment on post-2014 funding and size of the Afghan National Security Forces. Do you anticipate that coming out of this meeting here or at Chicago? Um, the proposal the U.S., I believe, has, has made is $4.1 billion a year, uh, size of 230000 post-2017. Is that likely to be adopted either at this meeting here or in Chicago? Thank you. Um, the meetings today and tomorrow are not uh, pledging conferences, uh, so uh, I, I would not expect uh, con concrete uh, announcements um, at, at this uh, meeting, nor is the Chicago summit uh, a pledging uh, conference. But I would expect a clear picture uh, of um, the, the size, the structure, and the cost uh, of a long-term sustainable Afghan security force. Uh, and that's what we are going to discuss uh, today and tomorrow. Um, you're right that a figure has been mentioned um, that a long-term sustainable size of the Afghan security, uh, security forces will be equivalent to a bill of around uh, 4 billion US dollars um, a year. 
And, um, and that figure uh, has also been uh, endorsed uh, by the Afghan authorities and the international community um, uh, in, in the local um, relevant bodies uh, in, um, in Kabul. So that's our planning basis, though no formal final decision has been made yet, but it's a good planning basis because this figure has been endorsed uh, by Afghans and by the international community. I would anticipate um, that NATO allies and ISAF partners uh, will commit themselves uh, to uh, contribute to financing a fair share of this overall um, bill. Um, it's a bit premature to to present any uh, concrete uh, figures, uh, but I will urge allies and uh, partners uh, to commit themselves to, to an overall uh, framework uh, for financing um, the Afghan uh, security forces. Uh, and then down the road, uh, we will receive uh, the more concrete uh, commitments uh, from uh, individual uh, nations. But I sense, I sense that there is a positive attitude towards international financing of the uh, Afghan security forces, because people realize that a bill of that size goes well beyond the financial capacity of the Afghan government. And it is in the interest of the whole international community to see strong and highly capable Afghan security forces take full responsibility for security by the end 2014, to give the defense of Afghanistan um, an Af a strong Afghan face, and by the way, economically, uh, it is less expensive to finance Afghan security forces than to deploy international troops uh, in Afghanistan. So it's a good deal, and uh, it's very easy to make the case that uh, this would be a good way forward. Thank you very much. I'm afraid that's all we have time for now, uh, but we will be back later this afternoon. Thank you. Thank you.